Hello there and welcome to the studio. If you remember some couple of weeks back when the beta version became available first to those beta testers, not publicly available, one of the things they were talking about is the fact that the song mode is gone, no more song mode, how do we arrange our song without song mode, now we are given arrangement view. But I'm here to tell you that song mode is still very much active and it is far better than what you have even on 2.15. Now the song mode you have right now is actually on steroid and I'm going to show you what I mean. In the previous version which is 2.15, there are several features that are actually just not right with the song mode that is there. That's one of the reasons why I actually don't use the song mode you know, as much as I would love to in the previous version. But now with the new arrangement mode, you have your song mode still intact and now it's way better. Now the very first issue we have with the stable version which is a 2.15 in song mode is the fact that if you have a track one which is maybe like a synth let's say violin then on track two you have maybe another synth let's say it is a bass synth by the time you move to the second sequence if you swap that or you delete the bass synth and you put another program there when you try to match everything together in song mode it will play fine for you in that song mode but the moment you try to convert it to a single sequence like export or convert to a single sequence you are going to have an issue everything will be scattered you will just find out that it takes the pattern of the first sequence and apply it to all the other sequence the first track there happens to be the synth of violin any other item that is on the first track of the other sequence it will treat them as a violin because it's basically apportion that sound on the first track to the entire track do you understand when you export or convert to a single sequence and that alone it forces me to be very very careful when i'm trying to make my my beats so i have to now start with the chorus i must ensure that everything i need is already in place on the chorus sequence then i will now start copying instead of me creating a new sequence i will copy the sequence i will copy the sequence and i will make sure that i do not delete anything i don't delete any track i don't need i don't swap the track if you mistakenly go to swap track five or track six on the second sequence and on your first sequence you have your track five still there and your track six still there by the time you are converting to you know a single sequence in your song mode you are going to have an issue you can try it out you are going to have an issue that's the first one the second thing I notice is if you have your songs that are in different tempo, different BPM. So you have sequence one in 95 BPM, you have sequence two in 100 BPM, you have sequence three in 120 BPM. Sometimes you want to slow things down, so you want to speed things up, maybe your intro, your outro, or your bridge. If you use different you know, BPM, I notice that in the current stable version, which is 2.15. If I add all those sequences and I convert them into a song and I should convert to a single sequence, it will use the BPM of the first sequence and apply the same to all other sequences. It doesn't help me to transition when I get to that middle or the end. But those two things have been taken care of on this new song mode that we have here. And it's awesome. So let's just go in there together and I'll show you what I mean by what is here now that has actually changed and drastically made the current song mode much more better than what you have on your 2.15. Okay, so welcome back. Let's talk about the fact that now your song mode here is now on steroid. That is, the features have been enhanced and your song mode is still here, right? It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Check this out. You already have your sequence here, right? Um, you can choose to actually add more by just turning your knob. Anytime you want to add a new sequence, just go to an unused, go to an unused, and you'll be able to basically just continue to use that sequence. But what I like about this is the fact that I created a sequence, I named it chorus, right? Then I created another sequence, I named it verse. And the chorus already have something played here, right? Check this out. My tempo for this particular sequence is 95. On my verse, my tempo, that's the BPM, is 110, right? And what I'm trying to do is I will now use my song mode to merge the two together and you will see that it will respect each of the BPM when it gets to that particular sequence. 
when it's about to play the sequence, it respects the PPM, unlike what you have on the 2.15. That is one. Now, the other thing I like about this is it automatically helps you to arrange the tracks across board, across all the sequence that you have. So let's take for instance, see sequence one, I have chorus, and I only have just one plugin, which is a synth, um, the OPX, you know. Now, if I create a new track here, right, and I select maybe like a drum track, just for the test of it to understand, I tap and hold this, maybe I just change the name to drums, right? I just leave it this way. Now, if I go to sequence two, which is the verse, drum is already also there as the second track. That means you will not make the mistake of switching tracks of putting a track that was on track four of sequence A, moving into track three on sequence B. That mistake is readily available and easily made when you are using the previous version, which is the 2.15. But for this current beta version, you cannot make that mistake. I'm guessing that's the reason why program was eradicated, such that you will now have tracks that will be able to communicate directly with your sequence. Do you understand? And that means for your project, your tracks will have the numbers that will run across all of your sequence. So if I create another one, let's see, verse, even on the third one that is not yet used, you still have the two tracks. This is the drum is still there. And how do you tell? If you go to your arrange mode, you see track one, track two. Do you understand? Track one, track two. And here there's nothing on it. Then if I come back to my main and I go to verse, go to your arrangement view, you will still see your track one and track two. And on track one, there is an activity there. So I'm gonna just uh, basically play it for you so you will hear how it sounds with respect to the BPM. Then I'll arrange it on the song mode, then convert to a sequence, then we'll play it. Let's go. So this is what you have. Let us go to the first plugin. Let's play it. That is the first, and um, you can see it's 110 BPM. Let me switch it to the chorus. This is 95 BPM. All right. Okay. Let me now stop it. Let me go to song mode. In song mode, all I need to do is just hit record and arrange. Let me put chorus first, let me put the verse, and then let me put the chorus at the end. You can see 195, 110, and 95. Then let me make it play. Okay, let me just leave it for once. Let me just play once for the purpose of this um, trade. Then I can rename this. Let me come back here and edit that name. Um, then I'll say final output. Right. Uh, he do it. So that's the final output song. That's the very first arrangement, right? Now you can see right here we have the chorus with 95 BPM, a verse of 110 BPM, another chorus of 95 BPM. Let me play that from start. Let's see how it sounds, right? See how it changed the BPM. And it came back to 95. On your normal song mode of the current stable version, which is the 2.15, you might play it this way and it will play for you here. But if you convert it to a single sequence or you want to export, you might have an issue. That's what I found out, and that's why I use it, you know, less often to do intro, outro, or slow something down. I have to basically just improvise. But now with this, if I click on convert to sequence, let me put it on the third one, and then I click do it. If I now come back to the main, and then you go to your third sequence here, from song one, which is the final output, right? If I play it right about now, Let's go to arrangement view so I can show you. Now you see it is well arranged on the arrangement view. Take note of your BPM, 95, and then watch the song progression. 
That's the first sequence. The chorus. Now at the verse. Did you see that? Awesome. Then it comes back down. You see, this is not possible in the 2.15, but now it's possible in your 3.4 firmware updates. And as you can see, like I told you earlier, you have your track one here, you have the track two here. If you switch any track, maybe like you move it up or you move it down, it will basically affect all the other sequence in the track ensuring that your tracks are not modeled up and then your tracks are not basically triggering another event from another track because you probably have mixed them up inside your program for the sequence in the current stable version which is the 2.15 that has been taken care of here and now you can easily arrange in your song mode convert it into a sequence and you will see it exactly as it is it will come here and you can easily work and do your editing do your you know, if you still need to do more editing, then fine, you can go ahead and start, you know, just playing around with your events. So, as you can see, this is a very, you know, step up. It's a very great feature and which has been added to basically resolve the current issue that users on 2.15 might be facing. And I'll give Akai team a thumbs up for that. So, there you have it. You can now see that this new song mode is on steroids, like it's better now and it can actually make your workflow a lot easier because all you need to do is just convert it to a simple sequence and then you can now you go to the arrangement view and continue your work from there. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next one.